Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we are going to be looking at something that I was not expecting. This is going to be Cyphus Kane, Hero of the Imperium. This is part of the TTS, it's on Alpha Boost's channel. This is something that I didn't know I wanted, and now it's out, and I want it. But there's a little bit about this that I honestly was not expecting to see. Right down in the description, the writers, the people who scripted this out, Alpha Busa, because it's TTS, he usually has a hand somehow in it, even if it's just referential, and he wrote part of this one. The thing is, the other writer for this was Takahata101. Now, you might know him from a small little series, Hellasing Abridged, or maybe Dragon Ball Z Abridged, or literally most abridged content, or when he plays himself in the unabridged, which I still need to watch. You know, from that tiny little channel that no one's ever heard of it called Team Four Star. This is a Alpha Busa Takahata 101 original short for TTS. And they're doing Cyphus Kane. Now, I might not be the most versed in Cyphus Kane lore because I've actually avoided looking into spoilers for him. Like, intentionally avoided finding out more because I actually want to read his stories. I've heard they're some of the funniest in the entire 40k series. Which in itself is kind of a weird proposition because humor in 40k, but also just really well written. So I've kind of been making a point to avoid spoilers there. Unlike literally everything else. I have no idea what they're going to get into here, but I really want to see where this goes because it's Alpha Busa and Takahata 101 writing a TTS episode together. Now I know Takahata has been involved in other aspects of the show and he's voiced other characters, but I'm excited to see what this just makes because it's people who are generally just very good at what they do and Cyphus Kane, who, if I'm remembering right, he's like the guy who gets things done by dumb luck a lot. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. There's a link to the original down below. Hit it up and let's get started. Dude, the chin. Grab a cheery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, it was all of you. Seriously, it was your yep, brain that made it. this all possible. Kai, 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 Miss K, hero. Oh, is it Kai, Miss K? Oh, I've been saying his name wrong this entire time. Thanks, sir. At first, I was nervous of you giving me command of the front lines against the foul greenskins. Ah. But you observed from the rear lines. Uh -huh. But I see now that it was a test. Yes. Your faith in my abilities filled me with a determination. Did he just give the tiny little pimple-faced kid? And I'm honestly not sure if it's a girl or just such a little kid that his voice hasn't even changed yet. Someone that young, maybe. Commander of the front? And they think it's a... Ta oh, I get where this... Oh. Oh. Goodness, Why does he sound like more? I was completely flanked by an undetectable force of giant invisible orcs. What? Oh, yeah, that's the thing that works too. Fortunately, you had some brilliant idea of having the humongous sneaky orcs blindly chase you as you tactically withdrew your chimera into a nearby valley. But my lord, come aside. Oh my god, really? There's. Are they just. Are they just fighting over who gets to stroke his ego? And nothing else I was going to say? So he's running away. Is he deflating as she speaks? I think he's deflating. Holy shit! In the heat of the moment, you used our enemy's momentum against him, sir. Huh? And bravely risked your own life to achieve it. Yeah, he's Nobody actively deflating. The, the chin is losing chin. You saved all of our lives. All hail Kaifus Kane, hero of the Imperium! Rabbit cheering, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And. He just fucked in this. Like, fucked up into success, didn't he? <laughs> Imposter syndrome. Oh wow! That is a big change. That was so close. That was too close. I thought that was it. The end of Kane's long history of bullshitting is way to the top. Oh, God. Like, how am I still alive? Withdraw? You mean 
screen height kill it like a damn coward as fast as a chimera tank, right? Because that's what I did! Like a piece of shit! Honestly, it's not even a bad move sometimes. And, oh, I didn't even see the weak spot on the ground. I was just trying to shoot the damned orcs. My troops think I did it intentionally. They always do. Oh, God. You fools! You beautiful fools! You have no idea. I love how he's respecting them by calling them beautiful, but also annoyed that they aren't shit. able to get the fact that he's not that good. Crushing not only you, but all these poor, innocent souls who you led into this worm of the sea. God, God. Emperor, I am such a piece of shit. And already makes him better than most become. of the leadership in the Imperium. This has to stop. What's he going to do? We're out of the luck years ago, King. Uh, no, no, you, you see they have to have it. Those fumes are pretty damn potent. Tell them. Face the music, King, because your song is playing. I mean, at some point, this guy just has to admit the Emperor is fucking with him. Die before we do. Just admit to them you're a fraud, a coward, a piece of shit. Tell also, is it just me or his shoulders slumping Tell the further he goes? Them. I think that one, like, it cake. is. Oh, wow, that is. The war boss was in the group of green skin as the cliff face fell into. That's a person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was an orc wearing a human's face for a second. Now all of the orc forces are in full retreat. What? Planet wide. What? The commander is here to award you the Star of Terror for your what? bravery. I was only doing my oh, duty. Oh, he just switched to it. Oh my god. Tell the commander I humbly accept it. Oh god, I love that. I just... He was waiting for you, sir. I, 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 what? Oh, they were there the entire time. I could, I could, I could oh, you're fucked. Explain. Oh, is Marty as Calgar? There is no need. Mood Kindred. What? I have finally Mood? found you. Mood Kindred? Mood. 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 Oh! <gasps> because in all of the times Marty as Calgar was talking about being a fr. Oh! Oh! Yeah, because he kept going about like the snake oil. And how the Ultramarines are the best, but he feels like a fraud because they're really not. And we still want to figure out more about that. I know it's an out-of-universe reference to actual BS plot armor that everyone knows the Ultramarines have. They, they, they win when they shouldn't. Also because um, certain people at the GW were pushing for them to win really hard. But I, I just... Oh, well, I could... Yeah. Th I wonder if they'll hit it off or hate each other for that. Also, just a little shout out to the art style right here. I love how he's still half in his like buffed up commissar mode with the face, but also his the rest of his body, like the shoulders have slumped in, but he's still in full color and his chest is still broad, but the shoulders are gone and the shoulder like the arm is just gone and down. And I love how they're mixing the two styles you've already had right there, just as a sheer art piece. That's just so cool how they're moving it around to show the confused emotion. That's just awesome. Are you also a piece of shit? <laughs> oh god. Ultra yes. one chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I thought they were talking about mood or mood. I was like, what did that kill say in this game? Ultra comfort and support. I can't tell if this is depressing or sadly happy. I'm going with depressingly optimistic. Support group. Yay. Oh, I wish we had subtitles for what he was saying. I can barely hear it out of the music. And that was what probably should have been titled Mood Kindred Caiaphas Kane. Caiaphas Kane. It's a hard C, not a soft C. Yeah. Apparently, I've been butchering that one for a while now. Yeah. And it's not like I have an excuse for uh, Bobby G, whose name is pseudo-French and literally mispronounced by everyone, because I'm assuming at this point it's canonically not pronounceable. Caiaphas Kane. Yeah, there we go. I just... They packed a lot into here. They established the character immediately of, oh, I am amazing! But also how he's deflating when he's in that... Uh, the more he gets praise, he's like... Oh. And he's just keeping the face, but at the same time... You see he's wilting. And the second he closed the door, full wind. Full wind? Full, I guess he went full wilt. I can speak. And just grayed out. 
depressed, saggy, chin is gone. I mean, just it's really sad whenever you have a bout of depression and your chin just leaves. I mean, I look really weird without a chin. It, it, it's just a thing that happens, yeah. The bigger your chin, the more it shows. But that's just science. I just, I loved it because you got to see how he's faking it, how he feels about it, and then having him just bare his soul to what he thought was an empty room. The fact that Marnius Calgar supports Ultramarine stealth by hiding successfully behind a door. Oh, who is... How Caiaphas is... Can you see? I can get the name right. Was alerted he was there. Was like, oh, he's already here. And you just watch him have that monumental breakdown of, oh, shit, he heard me. And Marnius, I didn't even know it was him at first because he was so dark and menacing. I'm like, oh, crap. Is that an orc war boss? Like, honestly, with the red eye and them talking about orcs, I kind of thought it was actually a war boss. Just impersonating a human because, sure, why not? At this level of stupid, why not? And by level of stupid, I mean, if, you know, if they're playing where an orc with a human mask on it counts as really good stealth and they believe it enough, I've seen people play it that way. Should they? Ah, who cares? It's funny at that point. But... I really thought it was like, oh, hey, look, Conrad Cruz, or Curse. Curse? How do you say this? I'm probably butchering the name, too. Conrad Curse just entered the series. Oh, nope, nope, it's Marnius Calgar. He did dark and depressing really well, up until he really got comforting and emotional, and they actually bonded over both thinking they're pieces of shit because they succeed well beyond what they should. I... It's actually really heartwarming to see two people get along that well. And I just, I was expecting a ton of laughs and there was that. And I was expecting some like, oh shit moments and there was that. I wasn't going into just a, such a quick little short getting a sense of, ah, that's actually comforting and I like that. So yeah, kudos to Alpha Busa and Takahata want to run. Run on run. I cannot speak today. 101. See, English. I speak it badly. Just kudos to them for writing something that just was short, sweet, to the point, but just packed every single punch they needed into every single second. That was just good writing. Well acted, fun, and just fun to see characters interact like that. I would love to just see more shorts like this because it's... I'm not saying I have a problem and I'm addicted to TTS or I've started rewatching it because I need my TTS fix or I just, I need more, I need more. Or like I'm starting to queue up Warhams because I want to watch that just to get more. I'm not saying that because, I mean, I think that goes for, without saying at this point, I might actually live stream the entire reaction or at least chunks of it because I'm not sure how that'll go. I don't know what it is. I've heard they're role-playing Guts and Glory or some, one of the newer variants. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, Link below to the original video. Hit it up because that was so freaking good. So many of the art deals they put in there just... And I don't just mean details. They're so freaking good, they're a deal. You get to watch it for free, and it's awesome! I love this. I, I just... I love the creativity and just the little nuances they put in there. They don't, they don't even need all the physical expression. Like, not just the facial expression, which was there, but the body language they just forced into every freaking scene with Caiaphas. It's... I'm a fan. I'm sure no one got that, but I just, I love things like this because they're super expressive and they convey so much emotion on top of the exposition, which conveyed emotion on top of just the implications of the people talking to him and seeing how he reacts. And this was just good. They did a good job. They got across every bit of emotion they could and then extra because they can and it fit. And it was funny and heartwarming at the same time. And that's not easy to do, especially in a series that's overwhelmingly more joke than anything, but lately has had a lot of really touching emotional moments while still being just as funny. So if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. If you've hit it up already, do it again, because it's definitely worth a rewatch. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. <laughs> Thank you.